Hello all my Scorpio babies and welcome to your bi-weekly tarot card reading. I'm going to start right now. And as always, if you have not already done so, go ahead and subscribe and make sure you ting that bell so you're notified when I go live or when I upload new videos. And I'm going to let Jillian in here before she sits there and scratches at the door all night. Yeah, for the tenth time. Hello. Okay, guys. Now, I'm sure you've seen that there's a little different here. I'm going to be drawing two general outlooks. And I'm also going to be using um, five decks when it comes to your drawing instead of just three. You know, this card is general outlook for your life um, and how you feel about your situation. This is your hopes, wishes, and dreams. This is what um, is coming into your life. This is what you're leaving behind. This is what you need to know about your um, general overall personal growth I'm sorry I had my brain just refused to work there for a second and this card is the general advice for you guys for the week now for those of you that have not already done so if you want to join the Facebook um, learning and teaching group that is still open and free uh, the link is in the description just go ahead and click it and request to join the group um, not sure how long it's going to remain free but it will be part of a paid support program for my courses so if I was you I would get in now if that's something that interests you and if you want a personal reading with me, you can go to my website at astrologyoils.com and you can purchase either by spread or 15-minute um, interval live Skype readings with me. Okay, Scorpios, let's see what's going on with you guys in the next couple of weeks. Okay, you have the King of Pentacles. Um, it looks like you are going to have a mentor in all things that have to do with property and abundance and money and how to share all of that with people uh, to make sure everybody has what they need. And you're also going to, it looks like, have a, some few bumps in the road here. Um, when it comes to um, your heart, uh, you're going to be mourning, doing a little bit of mourning. Uh, but don't forget to pay attention to what you still have. You know, I know um, losing someone or something can be painful. Uh, but just make sure that you aren't forgetting those that are still here and those that are still in your life. Now, how do you feel about your life in general right now? Well, you feel like you've met the person of your dreams and you've met the person that you're infatuated with um, and the person that you think that you're going to marry and move to the next um, logical step in the relationship. And you have been really making some happy memories with this person and uh, manifesting uh, and thinking about manifesting a new and bright future with this person. Um, but you've also realized that you do have to stand up for what you believe in and to stand up for what you are passionate about when it comes to this person. Now, what you wish for in your life, you, know, you wish for um, the elemental of earth, the opportunity to um, really set a solid foundation when it comes to your work, business, uh, or anything career-wise. Uh, you also wish for the ability to know when is enough, when, when 
um, things are going too far and when to stop um, balance when it comes to that type of thing you know everything in moderation you need to learn that lesson and you really wish that you had everything that you needed finance finance wise um, and that you have already reached that point um, of perfection when it comes to your job and your um, the pain that you've had to endure you wish that was coming to an end and over as well and the three of wands you wish that you had you know all those people around you that are just as passionate about what you want as you are now what it is that you are leaving behind this week the lack of communication um, the lack of the ability to um, let things come to you um, the the knowledge that in order when you get stuck that you just need to leave the situation leave the the issue um, and the uh, answers will come to you you know Jilly this is getting old sorry about that she's been doing that all day long Okay, and you are also leaving behind um, any inability to um, gather information on what direction to take your passions. Uh, you're really moving forward when it comes to your passions in the next couple of weeks. You're also leaving behind the willingness to endure what you have to endure in order to make your uh, in order to manifest the things in your life that you want to manifest and you're also leaving behind the um, inability to um, see your worth and see how abundant and fertile and creative you really are Now what is coming to you now this is the elemental of air or elemental of fire the elemental of fire is bringing to you all the passion that you're going to need in the coming couple of weeks in order to gather all the information and gather all of the um, the things you're going to need to move forward with your passions and you are also leaving behind the pain of um, the pain of getting to this point. Uh, you you you've wished for that, and that is actually coming to fruition. You are you have already manifested your first your first wish, and your wish was to be at the end and be and be able to see. Um, to see things and to see the knowledge and to gain that knowledge and you're going to be able to do that and you have the hermit is coming to you or the hooded man is coming to you and to tell you to stop sit back and think about yourself think about what you want to do and where you really want to go and where you really want to move forward and you have the daughter of cups coming in here to remind you to um think about your heart's desire think about what what it is that you truly want don't forget about that because that is the most important thing is what your heart desires now what is it that you need to know um, about your personal growth moving forward um, you have your soulmate your soulmates here it's the perfect person for you um, what you were feeling in the beginning about this person is true um, that is 100% the way things are going. Um, Bellatane means, you know, your soulmate, your perfect person for you, the perfect um, pairing. And then you have the strength card coming in as well to remind you that you ha you do have control, you do have the power um, to know that you are in the perfect position, in the perfect place in your life at the perfect time. And then you have temperance to, to remind you of um, 
being able to take things in moderation and to be able to, you know, as over here, temperance, temperance, you wished for temperance, you're getting temperance, you're getting that lesson over here. You're learning when to take when things have gone too far, you're learning uh, when to stop um, when you're ahead, you're learning um, how to really control uh, that part or that aspect of your personality. And you have the four of stones protection. You have people coming in that are going to be protecting you and and from something and um, you're going to be able to feel at ease. And you have the mother of cups coming in uh, to really put your life and your, and especially your, your love life in order and to make sure everything is where it's supposed to be when it's supposed to be there. Now, the overall advice for the next couple of weeks for you guys is the element of air. You're having information coming when you need it. Uh, don't ask for information before you need it um, and expect it when you need it because it will be there. The elemental of air is bringing it. And you're the king of wands. It's all about your passions this week. What's your passionate about? Um, and you're going to have a mentor, the King of Wands, bringing you in and uh, really pushing you towards what you're passionate about. And when you're being pushed towards what you're passionate about and you're following that path, the King of Pentacles over there is going to step in and show you what to do with what you have earned from that passion and from that, you know, all that hard work. And um, you're going to be able to make sure everybody has what they need and you're going to be able to celebrate with close friends. Um, all of your abundance that you have come into and the eight of bows backs that up you know you have close friends you're going to share all of this with your close friends you're going to be able to sit back and enjoy what you've worked so hard for and you have the mother of wands coming in here uh, again uh, helping you know keep your keep your what you're passionate about organized and um, moving forward in the right direction now, I hope you guys enjoyed that reading. Before you go, make sure to watch more water sign videos. Don't forget to join, request to join the Facebook group. Subscribe to my channel and like and share this video.